today for the first part of our presentation. So uh, we're going to be, uh, I and uh, Rachel are going to be presenting about the philosophy and science and how these two uh, disciplines are inseparable. So that was first. So why do why we have said that philosophy and science are inseparable? So we have so for the first part. So I'm going to be discussing two different reasons why philosophy and science are inseparable. So we have the first one, which is philosophy and science are interconnected. So any one of you uh, who has an idea, what do we mean by the term interconnected? Anyone? So just an idea, or give me one word to they describe. Are, so Jimmy? They are related to each other. Related to each other. Another one? How about these people? Ishaira? They have a link with each other. Okay, a link with each other. And last one? They are, yeah, connected. One. They are connected. Okay, so, so we have the terms interconnected, uh, related, and Linked to each other. So, so but, but before that, for us to understand how they are interconnected, so let us describe or compare and contrast what is the difference between science and philosophy. So we have here, okay, a Venn diagram. So let us first compare what is the difference between philosophy and science. So we have the first one. So uh, philosophy, as we all know, is in belief. Why? Because we all know, okay, as we, uh, as we have discussed in our philosophy, philosophical analysis, that philosophy means philo, which means love, and uh, sophia, which means wisdom. So it is a love for wisdom. While science, on the other hand, it is uh, based on facts. So because we all know that science, or science, is a uh, uh, systematized body of knowledge based on written truths and facts, right? And another one, so if philosophy is uh, based on beliefs, so therefore we have said that it's indefinite because not uh, every every one of us has different beliefs, right? Yes, and we all, from these beliefs, uh, we perceive the, uh, the nature or our environment and uh, different things. Am I correct? Okay. Do you agree? Okay, so that is why philosophy is indefinite. On the other hand, if philosophy is indefinite, Science, on the other hand, is definite because we all know that since science is based on facts, therefore all of these facts are exact and therefore it is definite. Okay. And another one. Okay. Since philosophy, so it is funded uh, funded by the philosophers, and on the other hand, science is by the scientists. And okay, let me go And on the center, uh, center of the Venn diagram, so we have here two different uh, ideas, key ideas on how it is interconnected with each other. So the first one, it is seeking for the truth. So we all know that the philosophers and scientists all uh, have constant beliefs on finding for knowledge and finding for wisdom. So it is the, so. therefore we have said that philosophy and science are both see, uh, a process of seeking for the truth. And another one is that many of the scientists are also philosophers, right? Uh, best of examples for this are the Greek philosophers like Democritus, uh, and uh, Aristotle, okay? And for the second uh, idea, or for the second statement that we have concluded, it is because that uh, philosophy and science, are, it, is a, it is a cycle. So how we have come up that it is a cycle? So we all know that, so it is belief. So all of this philosophy and science started with the belief. So what we, have, what we know or what we believe on something else or on something, so that is the belief that we are talking about. And this belief now is grounded on philosophy. Okay. So it is grounded on philosophy. And from this, we can relate it to science, but how? So any ideas on how we can relate philosophy to science? Any ideas? How about this group? How philosophy and science, what do you think, or how they are related? Uh, as you have said earlier, uh, believe, uh, science and philosophy are related because they are both seeking for the truth. And then uh, the belief, I guess, is uh, the need for to seek the truth, which will come up with uh, certain ideas that are definite or exact because of science. Okay, so you have mentioned that it is, an, uh, since science is based on the exact facts, so yes, it is related to the supporting facts. And from this, we can say that they are interconnected. Why? Because we all know, okay, so we all know the scientific method, right? 
So what is the first step again in, uh, in building science, in the scientific method? Okay, so we have? Finding the problem. Okay, so observation first, right? So pag observe na rin, diba? Ano yung like, okay, how do we perceive our environment? But we observe, diba? On the natural phenomenon, diba? So you all like, so, so the way that how we observe our, our uh, the environment or our surroundings, so that is now our beliefs, right? And from that, we, we come up to a question or to a problem, right? In order to find out the, pro the answer to the problem, we give a? Okay, so I know. So, hypothesis yeah. first, right? Hypothesis, the problem. So we give a tentative uh, answer to the question. Then how we will determine if the hypothesis is true or not? Through what? Through testing or through? Experiment. Okay, through experiments. So, parang din rin yung, ano, so that is how philosophy and science are interconnected. And at the end, we come up to a, okay, to a conclusion. And that conclusion now, from the beliefs that is the problem, we come up to, we end up to the supporting facts, which is, which is the conclusion. So that is now how the, these new ideas are, are formed. So, is it here, uh, classmates? Yes. So, are there any questions? Or like you see, so that is why, or that is how philosophy and science is considered as a cycle through the scientific method. Okay, and okay, so that ends my report. So I hope you learned something about this. So, Rachel will continue about more on.